Hi folks, I'm Stephen Crowley. Welcome to another watercolour demo. Um, many thanks, incidentally, to all the patrons at patreon.com slash Stephen Cronin. Um, thank you, as always, for your support. Do join me over on there if you get the opportunity. Um, today I've got, uh, there's a little fisherman here on the banks. So it's like a little riverside scene. Um, let me show you the colours I've used for this. So on the palace, I've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. Brushes, most of it, the large rancenaic, I also use a small rancenaic as well. Um, quarter inch flat and I just used also a, a sword liner brush and I've also got a couple of riggers there, a zero and a size three. Right then. A little bit of water, not too much. I don't want it all dripping down the paper. Um, let's start off with a bit of lemon yellow. I'm going to push that in all the way down to the bottom. It's just a bit of ultramarine into it as well. Variation. Bit of raw sienna in there. And what I'm going to do, just suggest. Quite a high rise line, just suggest the backdrop now of trees growing. Right in the distance. Let's put a hint of a bank in there. Just a hint. Slightly further forward. We want more colour in there, I think. I'm going to pop the bank in at the same time. A bit of brown, a bit of blue. Switch to the sword liner. Bit of brown, bit of blue. Pop a few twigs and things in there, I think. So this is giving up there like that. It's giving on quite weak at the moment because the paper's still wet. So as the paper dries, it'll go on stronger. Um, at the same time, I'm popping some reflections down as well. Those up there. Come back down a bit. That's gone. I forgot I had the brain on the brush. Um, actually, it's well, I'm waiting for that to dry. I'll come back down in a minute. I'll just switch to the other side. There's a bit more lemon yellow. So another bank over on this side, slightly closer this one. Yeah, let's put around some sort of reflection. It's going up there. I'm going to switch back to the sword liner. A bit of brown, a bit of blue. And again, we're about somewhere, the bank's about there. Just start flicking in. And then the reflections at the same time. Right 
on a paper stretch of it, so I'm just going to pull it tight. And what I might do is just dry that what I've got. Dry what I've got, and then see where I am. Rewet it and crack on. Now bear with me. Try this little hake brush. This is the small Ron Ranson hake. I normally used it just when I'm doing small paintings, but now I'm thinking let's use it on the bigger ones. as well. Let's just try it with this brush. You can use any brush for this. I mean you, you, don't, you don't have to use what I'm using. Any brush will do. And you just twist it around, give it a flick here and flick it there. And you're just looking for random marks really. Just to try and make your painting stand out from the from the norm. Put some of these marks on each side as well. And this slightly closer. Let's add more water. Let's loosen that paint a little more. Back to the sword liner, a bit of brown, a bit of blue. I'm going to put a bit of red in there as well. And the bank, it's somewhere like that. So let's just pop that in there like that, gives a good guideline. Don't forget your reflections. Don't have to be bang on, just there or thereabouts. Stronger, a bit stronger, it's just flex a lot and do this. I'm just using it like a pen now, just whizzing round. I find that the quicker I move, the, the, the better the painting turns out. That's just me personally. Um, give that a quick dry, could be there is. Actually, I'm just scraping just the odd little. Pull a few watermarks, keeping it, making sure I'm keeping it level. Let's just scrape some into there as well. random effects. I'm just going to wet it a bit like that and let's 
I think I stick with that little brush and, and see what we can do. Just get a bit of, bit of light red in there. Let's go back to that yellow. Back to the yellow. Do those things again of the rocks and things. Um. A few more colours down here. Down the bottom, Let's blend some in. the sword liner and again a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue, quite a dark mint colour. And then pop in a few more twigs and things. Now you can see this is because it's drying out, it's giving on a lot stronger. Do the same on the other side. Can you just reload the brush? Let's have another something else down there. I need I want to put something in the foreground I think so just put a few let's have some, some, just something down there I think I'm just mixing some colours put them dry that because wouldn't it be darker? Let's go 
it out of dry and just put another layer over the top and just build it up. play with this quarter inch flat brush and I'll, I'll use this for mainly just adding darker tones here and there I just need to just go a bit of, bit of brown, bit of red, bit of blue just get a, quite a dark looking mix and then just just basically just adjust it to what I think it needs I just think that needs to be a little bit darker do need is a little fisherman so I'm just going to switch to the rigger brush I think do you know what there's almost there's a fisherman there I've only just noticed it what I'm going to do this is where you can take advantage of things that just happen on the paper so that's just happened by chance. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to darken that little bit there. It almost looks as if someone sat next to him as well. I'm just going to darken him there. Pop in like a some sort of reflection, just a hint of a reflection. And then just pop a little, little rod in there. Gonna match some of these tones. fisherman there just sat on the banks um, here and there, a little bit smaller than that. Let's stick some posts on this side as well. I think I'm pretty much within, hang on, it's just, it's just hints at some of these posts up there. Yeah, that's 
just a just a hint of a reflection of those posts. That's all. Not a bit too heavy. You know, I'll just sign that now. Let's stick a mount on that now and see what it looks like. So there's our finished paints in the mains, but the, the first thing I did, the only thing I did off camera, I've just darkened that section just to match the other two banks because it just didn't look right. This one was a lot lighter, the other two being darker, and just continues that sort of silhouette theme with the light coming from, from the, down the middle. So starting with the sky in the background and all I did, just brushed in a sort of plenty of lemon yellow, a um, little bit of raw sienna touch maybe, and just reflected those same colours right down the bottom, uh, reflecting the sky and the water. Then use that lemon yellow mix just to suggest those distant trees there along the horizon. Then just a hint, just a darker mix there just to put in there, just to suggest the banks. And then coming further forward, Starting on this left hand side, lots of rigger work, well no it wasn't a rigger, it was a sword liner, brushing all those trees and branches and things in, popping down the reflections at the same time, a little bit of the green foliage, and then sort of darkened the banks, it looked a bit weak. And you just get a hint of some of the scrapings there, just a few little rocks and details, a few little fence posts as well. Same on the right hand side. Exactly the same method, reflections down below, you can still see the odd bit of scraping from the rocks. But then I used what was like a sort of random shape in the on that side and just turned it into like a little fisherman. Then just a narrow rigger line for the for the rod. A bit of a reflection below. Nothing doesn't have to be accurate, just, just there or thereabouts. And then one is another layer to help with that sense of depth and then, like I said just darken that tone just to match the other two banks so I hope you enjoy that thanks as always for watching do join me over on uh, patreon.com slash Stephen Crone if you get the chance um, loads of more videos over there um, so until next time if you've got any questions please ask keep practicing and I'll see you again soon